Item number SCP-3362 Object Class Audio Visual Containment Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures Containment Procedures Inactive as of July 25th, 2018 Outside of regular testing, SCP-3362 is to be contained in Standard Item Locker Biological and mimetic countermeasures are to be put into place to restrict access to level 3 supervisors or approved handlers. Once a week, a member of D-Class personnel is to be selected to view SCP-3362. The selection process is to include a background check to ensure that the subject has no ties to any groups of interest. Organized crime rings or any other group where they could hold a position of authority. Viewing of SCP-3362 is to be presented to subjects under the guise of testing in order to facilitate this facade. Subjects are to be shown a non-anonymous copy of It's a Wonderful Life and instructed to note any differences between it and SCP-3362. Observation of this testing is to take place in monitoring rooms placed appropriately so that observing personnel cannot make visual contact of any kind with the screen displaying SCP-3362. As a precaution, only research assistants fulfilling the following conditions are allowed to supervise testing. Has a clearance level of level 1 or less. Has a salary of less than 65,000 yearly. Is subordinate to researcher effect who is understood to be directly subordinate to SCP-3362-1. A redundant chain of command is to be maintained to reduce the impact of either incident. The MCO supervisor of SCP-3362, currently Dr. Jack Simpson, is considered the supervisor of SCP-3362-1. Redundant each MCO director is considered the supervisor of Dr. Simpson. A materials director is considered the superior of the HMCO director. And project head is considered the superior of the materials director. After an editor incident, the HMCO director will be demoted to HMCO Supervisor. The Materials Director will be demoted to HMCO Director and a new member of Foundation personnel is to be selected to take the position of the Materials Director. The current instance of SCP-3362-1 is Dr. Laurel Shepard who will look at the audience and give the standard OK sign at all times. Any major deviations in behavior are to be reported to the HMCO Supervisor. Description SCP-3362 is a VHS tape of the 1946 movie It's a Wonderful Life. It is physically indistinguishable from a non-anonymous copy of the tape. The primary anonymous properties of SCP-3362 manifest and viewed. SCP-3362-1 is an individual that appears in viewings of SCP-3362. SCP-3362-1 is able to interact with the scene, though no deviations in dialogue or plot has been reported. It is confirmed that SCP-3362-1 is conscious and fully aware of its current situation. The secondary anomalous effects of SCP-3362 activate when viewed by a human subject. If the subject is of a higher economic, social, or political standing than SCP-3362-1, they would spontaneously disappear 5 to 10 hours after first viewing SCP-3362. In subsequent viewings of SCP-3362, the subject that it appeared will replace SCP-3362-1. Two to four hours after this disappearance, the previous instance of SCP-3362-1 will reappear in the vicinity of the former location of the new instance of SCP-3362-1. The territory anomalous effects of SCP-3362-1 activate when it is not viewed by any human subject for a period of one month. 
At this point, an other incident will occur. SCP-3362 will lose its anomalous properties, and the superior of SCP-3362-1 at the time of the other incident will disappear. Of the official media currently owned by the supervisor, one will become the new instance of SCP-3362 with the supervisor as an instance of SCP-3362-1. It is of note that the previous instance of SCP-3362-1 will not reappear after an other incident. It is believed that following other incident, SCP-3362 tends to relocate itself to Christmas movies produced before 1980. Addendum History and Discovery SCP-3362 was originally recovered after the disappearance of Mr. Sharams, an office worker for the other Crown Corporation, after his disappearance, Officer Williams took the original instance of SCP-3362, believed to be a VHS tape of the Star Wars Holiday Special, and eventually viewed it himself, becoming the next instance of SCP-3362-1. It was speculated that these disappearances were related, and the Las Vegas Police Department began to investigate the phenomena. Roughly one month after the start of the investigation, Detective Sherrill was reported to have disappeared while investigating a potential lead. This was interpreted as a deliberate action of the party that was responsible for the disappearances, and Sherrill's assets were seized as evidence. The Foundation was alerted to the presence of SCP-3362 when the Chief of Police of the Las Vegas Police Department viewed SCP-3362. At the time, SCP-3362 was a VHS copy of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. During the course of the investigation, it became subject to its secondary anomalous effects, resulting in his spontaneous disappearance. MTF Gamma-7 Red Herrings administered amnestics to all appropriate civilians and officers and confiscated security footage of the event. Further testing elucidated the anomalous properties of SCP-3362. However, due to the improper handling during testing, Dr. Redmond became the SCP-3362-1 subject. Addendum Incident 3362-B A catastrophic containment breach on September 5th, 2008 caused Site-45 to become inaccessible for several weeks. During this period of time, SCP-3362 underwent an other incident, leading to the disappearance of Dr. Carrion, a Level 2 supervisor monitoring testing for several SCP objects, and the relocation of SCP-3362 to a VHS tape of Frosty the Snowman. SCP-3362 has since been relocated to save class Site-49, due to the low possibility of the containment breach. Addendum Incident 3362-9 After a scheduled viewing session of SCP-3362, D-4578 spontaneously disappeared. Testing with D-5572 confirms that D-4578 had become the next instance of SCP-3362-1. A later background check of D-4578 revealed that he had connections to the American Mafia, and during his time with the group, he had amassed a considerable amount of influence and offshore wealth. Due to the American Mafia's lack of cooperation in the containment of SCP-3362, an other incident was allowed to occur for the purposes of experimentation. However, the next instance of SCP-3362-1 was Global Occult Coalition Director Claris, who was later determined to have connections to the American Mafia. The Global Occult Coalition then discovered SCP-3362 and attempted to destroy it. However, this triggered an immediate other incident that caused the disappearance of Dr. Grayson, 
a director of the GOC's physics department. The foundation then purchased SCP-3362, now a VHS tape of It's a Wonderful Life, from the GOC for a sum of 500 US dollars. Special Indendum 3362-1 Incident 3362 Omega On April 10th, 2018, 0510 retired from their position due to stress. However, they volunteered to become an instance of SCP-3362-1 in order to test what would occur during an other incident to a person without a supervisor. On May 10th, 2018, an other incident occurred. Though no instance of SCP-3362 could be found, at first it was thought that SCP-3362 was neutralized. However, it is believed that the event had implications that are not within the grasp of the current foundation. Further research is not possible due to the ongoing BE class migration scenario. Recovered data files show that 0510 was a default Catholic.